Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productive New Me. In this video we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut of F7. Using the F7 function key will allow us to launch the spell check dialog box within Excel. We'll then discuss the idea of how to spell check multiple worksheets at once, which will allow us to make sure that there are no spelling errors in our document, or rather there are no self-evident spelling errors that we could otherwise negate by using spell check. So with that, let's get started. Now, the fastest way to use spell check in Excel is probably going to be the F7 function key. We're going to press the F7 function key and it will launch spell check. And there are currently no spelling errors in this active worksheet. That active worksheet of tables version one. Now what I'm going to go up and do is intentionally make a spelling error so that we can see how spell check would work. So I'm going to switch the S and the H. So rather than digital publishing house, it would be digital publishing house. So now when we press F7, it will activate spell check. Spell check will by default go from your active cell, which in our case is E3, to the bottom of the worksheet. And there's no spelling errors between this active cell and the bottom of the worksheet. So Excel will then ask us, do you want to continue checking for spelling at the beginning of the worksheet? We're gonna say yes. And it's going to find this potential spelling error, that of publishing. So it will tell us, do we want to ignore it, ignore all, add to the dictionary or change? We're gonna say change. And then Excel hasn't found any other spelling errors, so we get this message. Now, if you did not know the keyboard shortcut of F7 or you didn't want to use F7, there are a couple of alternate methods that you can use in order to launch a spell check. The first would be to take your cursor up to review, and then you would go to the leftmost portion of this tab. You would click spelling. You get the same message. There's no spelling errors on the bottom of your worksheet, so you want to continue? Yes, we would again change this. So that's pretty straightforward. Alternately, we're just going to keep using this example of misspelled publishing. We're going to say we could press the Alt key, then the R key for review, and then S for spelling. It would launch the spelling or the spell check dialog box. We would hit yes, and we would be able to change that. Now, Although we know three different ways to activate spell check within Microsoft Excel, there is an important distinction to know between Excel and, and a, say, a Word document. Now, Excel is organized by worksheets, and a single Excel file can have multiple worksheets. When you use a function like spell check or thesaurus, spell check will only apply itself to the currently selected worksheet. So in order to find and or look for spelling errors on multiple sheets, you have to first select those multiple sheets. So let's first do it the incorrect way. So we're going to switch this. So this says digital publishing house, and we're also going to switch this. So it says the same thing. So because we've made these intentional errors, we know that there's an error here in publishing, and there's also an error here in publishing. Otherwise, these two pages are identical except for the color. So if we press F7 to launch spell check, it will find this first error of publishing and we're gonna say change. And then Excel is gonna say, oh, well, spell check is complete, you're good to go. But we know that actually there's a spelling error over here on table version two. Why didn't Excel find that? Well, Excel didn't find that because we're giving an Excel the command of just doing spell check and it's going to do spell check in this active sheet. We're going to need to select multiple sheets and then do spell check in order to find all the spelling errors in our document. So I'm going to change this so it's also incorrect. So we have one error that we know of and we have a second error that we know of. What we can do is we can select multiple sheets. I'm going to just select all three sheets that we have. I did this by pressing the control key and then clicking on those individual sheets. Now when we press spell check, spell check should find at least two errors. The error of publishing in table version, tables version one here in this tab, and then the second error would be found on this second tab. So 
So let's see what happens. We're gonna press F7 and it's gonna say publishing, okay, on this worksheet. We're gonna change that. And then because we have multiple tabs selected, multiple worksheets selected, is going to then, after it's finished spell checking this table ver tables version one worksheet, it's going to go and spell check table version two worksheet. So we would make those changes and then it will automatically check sheet three, but there's no spelling errors on that. So if you want to spell check multiple sheets, the way to do that, digital publishing, is to make sure that you have more than one sheet selected. We did this by first going to the sheet that we want to select and then pressing the control key and left clicking with our mouse. Then we press F7 and it will spell check that first document, which you might have to manually change. Cell doesn't always know what you're thinking. Digital, and then this would also be digital. So we hit change and it's okay. So in this video, we looked at three different ways to do spell check. The fastest was probably hit F7. The second way was to manually come up here to review and go to spelling. And then the third way that we looked at was pressing the Alt key, the R key for review, and then S for spelling. And then we discussed if you wanted to find spelling errors on, on multiple sheets, you would have to first select one sheet and then the rest of the sheets that you would want to do spell check in. And then you could press something like F7 and do spell check. So with that, in our next video, we'll look at using the thesaurus dialog box within Excel. We will focus on the keyboard shortcut of Shift F7, but we'll also look at a second method to achieve this as well. So join us for that in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.